how to overcome confrontation, how to get comfortable with confrontation. You see, if you're a coach consultant or you work as a service provider or in sales or just in life in general where we are dealing with confrontation on a daily basis, right? Whether it's somebody that you're on the phone with, the presentation that you have to have, a conversation with a spouse or partner, there's always somebody in our lives that we have these uncomfortable feelings of confrontation. And when we go through this feeling of confrontation, we feel anxious, it makes us feel stressed and uncomfortable. And this is the feeling that most people have when they are aware that confrontation is about to come in their lives, whether it is a prospect or it's somebody in their lives, a boss, a manager, a partner. And so we build up all this anxiety before the actual experience. And so today I'm going to be talking about how you can get comfortable and live within that confrontation. Okay, so really how overcoming confrontation is about how you see yourself. Okay, because usually whenever we feel uncomfortable within ourselves and we feel uncomfortable with confrontations because we have an issue with our self-image and our self-image is how we see ourselves. Because how we see ourselves is going to dictate the response that we have to that confrontation. And so we must first improve our self-image. And the fastest way to improve your self-image is about how you think. Okay, because your thoughts become your reality. And when you think differently, you're able to look at situations in your life with a completely different set of eyes. And so when you find yourself in this situation of this like uncomfortable with the person you're speaking with or knowing that this thing is going to happen in your life and you don't feel ready for it, then you must first kind of look inwards. And there's really three ways to help you feel more comfortable and confident to overcome a confrontational situation. The first thing that you can do is use mental rehearsals. Okay, so a mental rehearsal is when you go into your mind, you close your eyes and you start to think about the experience that is making you feel anxious and uncomfortable. And when you know that there is a confrontational situation that is about to arise, whether it is on the phone or in a meeting or with your partner, then the thing that we need to do is go into our minds and start to create a positive experience of what is to come. And so using mental rehearsals can really help you dive into that part of your mind that usually builds up the anxiety and stress and worry about what is going to come from that situation. So the thing you have to do is just close your eyes, go into a room, close your eyes, and just start to go through the experience of being on that phone call, being in that presentation room, or being with that person and actually just go through the whole experience of talking and overcoming the objections, any of the kind of concerns that you have in your mind, but in your mind, right? <laughs> if that makes sense. So you're actually going to go and talk through the experience and get comfortable with what is going to happen when the time comes. And so when you have this kind of mental rehearsal and you start visualizing you successfully overcoming the challenges and the obstacles that come your way, you start to feel like it's real because our minds and our, our realities don't actually know the difference between what's real and what's not. So if you start to imagine these thoughts as real, your reality will also be shaped in the same way. So when you start to live in a positive state through the experiences in your mind, your body will start to follow. So when you find yourself in the situation in real life in what we call reality, then you'll be able to have a lot more certainty within yourself and feel a lot calmer and less anxious about what to do. The second thing that you can do is use your words wisely. Okay, what we, what we speak into our life, we become. And so when we use our words in a really strategic way, we can think differently about situations. And so positive affirmations that is affirming to yourself who you are you'll be able to show up in the, the confrontational situation with a lot more positivity and a better outcome for both you and the other person. And so using the beliefs that you have about yourself, whether it's talking about yourself with positive words, saying that I am worthy, I am good enough, or I am, um, I am a leader, saying things that empower you 
okay, to step into that situation with confidence. Because when you use your words wisely, when you start saying things that are going to enrich your life, that are going to make you feel positive emotions inside, you will start to project that energy, that positivity, and you'll start to look at situations a lot differently because really confrontation is only something that we create in our minds. It's something that we've told ourselves. And so if we are able to look at confrontation as a good thing, as a necessary part of moving us to the place we want to be, then we start to change the way we look at what it really means to be in a confrontational situation. So pick your words very carefully. Use positive affirmations, words that will empower you to step into that situation, but feel confident and excited about moving on to a new opportunity, overcoming the challenges, and just moving forward in life. Okay, the third thing that you can do is change resistance into relaxation. Okay, so move from resistance into relaxation. Whenever we are about to step into a confrontation situation, a phone call, a meeting, the feeling that we have is resistance. We don't want to do it. We start to feel stressed and anxious and nervous. And so what we need to do is move our body's physiological state from this tense nervousness and wanting to resist it to actually relaxing and turning off our, our kind of our body's nervous system so that we can control our emotions and not be controlled by our emotions. And so by just sitting still and calming your body, you will calm your mind because when you calm your body first, your mind will follow. And so something that can really help you is just find a chair, a quiet room and sit and just consciously start to switch off the different areas of your body, paying close attention to the arms, your legs, your mind, and just kind of catching those thoughts as they pass and let them go. And when you do this for about five minutes, when you actually sit and just calmly breathe and just switch off every function in your body, you can switch yourself out of this kind of resistance tense mode into the relaxation state. And when you're in this relaxed state, you'll start to make better decisions. You'll start to think clearly. And so when you show up to that meeting, when you have that phone call, when you meet that person, your body will be in a better state of mind to make a better decision to say better things and not get anxious and nervous. Okay, so if you wanna learn more about this kind of stuff, overcoming confrontation through changing the, the way you think, then head over and grab a copy of my free ebook. Go to thebodyconcept.com forward slash free book. That is thebodyconcept.com forward slash free book. And this is where I share some strategies and tactics to help you with your physiological side of things and your psychological side of things, okay? So how your body is functioning and how you are thinking so that you can overcome challenges, overcome your self-image issues and just gain more confidence because that's really how we are going to show up as a leader in other people's lives. The other day, I was on the phone with a lady and she was uncomfortable in her body. It was affecting her energy, it was affecting her business and it was affecting her relationships, um, being the one with her kids and with her husband. And in that moment, I asked her um, if her husband knows about how she is feeling. I said to her, does your husband know about this current state that you're in? And, I, and she said, no. And I said, why? She said, I'm nervous and scared. I don't know what he's going to think. And I said, okay, do you know what he's going to say? And she said, no. And I said, okay, so you don't know what he's going to say, but you are creating this story in your mind. And so what I encouraged her to do in that moment was to overcome her fear, overcome the feeling of resistance that she has inside her and go and talk to him and let him know how she is feeling and how her health and her body is affecting these different areas of her life and how it's affecting her relationship. And she said, I'm scared, I'm nervous. And I said, the reality is, the only way we're going to get to a place of happiness and comfortability is if we can make those uncomfortable decisions that we have to make and have those uncomfortable conversations. And so I said to her, if you were going to come into this program, if I'm going to be able to help you, you are going to have to go through some uncomfortable things, whether it's physically or mentally, 
And it starts right here by you talking to the most important person in your life and sharing how you are feeling. And so she said, I'm scared, but I'm going to do it. And as a result of her doing it, as a result of her talking to her husband, she came back and had so much more confidence and excitement because she had the support. You see, I wasn't excited to to talk about this with her. It didn't, it wasn't, ha I didn't feel proud about myself having to talk about her personal life, her relationship, but I knew that by her having that conversation, she was going to overcome something that was inside her, which was this barrier that was holding her back from making a change in her life. I knew that it was the first thing that needed to happen before she can take that next step and change the other areas of her life. You see, if I didn't put myself in that situation and get uncomfortable by asking those questions and speaking through the things that she felt uncomfortable with, then I wouldn't have been able to show up as a leader in her life and help her see things differently. I would have been doing her a disservice. And so by showing up in her life as a leader and leading her to a place that I knew it was going to bring her peace and happiness in the long run, I stood, I stood back from my current situation, put my pen down and just really just zoned into what was happening and what was apparent to me. And as a result of me getting uncomfortable, she then went out of her comfort zone to then go and do something that would empower her life. You see, if we're working as a coach consultant or in, in, as a service provider or in sales, we are asking people to do that to do things that make them feel uncomfortable. We are asking them to invest in us, our services, our products. And so we must first be comfortable with getting uncomfortable ourselves. If we want somebody to do something that is going to make them feel uncomfortable, we must first lead by example. And that example is by being uncomfortable with asking questions and doing things that are going to empower them and give them the power to make a better decision in their life. And this is all part of being a leader, being uh, an example in other people's lives so that we can show up and, and turn any situation that might feel like confrontation or something negative into a positive. All right. So if you've been in that time, if you've been in this situation where confrontation and the thought of resistance creeps into your mind and starts to pull you down and hold you back, from getting on that phone or going to that meeting or speaking to that person, if you found yourself pulling yourself away from those scary moments and those confrontational moments, um, I share more about this kind of stuff in that free ebook. So if you wanna grab a copy, go to thebodyconsult.com forward slash free book. That is thebodyconsult.com forward slash free book and start to overcome that part of you which is currently being held back. It's currently being held back by your fears and your uncertainty and go deep into your mind and start to really find a part of you that is that is more confident that is able to look at situations in a different way and and just be a leader in life and, and take people to the place that is going to make both you and them a lot happier cool thank you for tuning in thank you for watching and i'll see you guys soon if you have any questions, drop them down below this video. And um, yeah, tune in for more. Um, if there's anything that you need personally or anything that I can help you with, then just send me a message as well on any social platform. Be more than happy to kind of dive into this stuff. If it's something that you've been dealing with or if uh, this video has been helpful to you, just let me know as well so I know to do more videos like this or you know maybe not more videos like this whatever it is if this has helped or this hasn't i would love to know so just reach out or comment below and i'll see you guys soon